Dwayne, hello. hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. My name is Dwayne Davis. To whom am I speaking to? My name is Bianca. How can I help you? Yes, I have material that was supposed to be returned to me in 2010, case number 07, CF4988. It was court ordered to be returned to me and uh, the judge bridges and none of this material was returned to me. I've been sending your office, Mr. Gross, I mean, Joy Gossman, and Miss. This was supposed to be picked up from Waukegan, not from us. Where, this is Waukegan? From the Waukegan Police Department. They're the ones that seized it. No, the wa this material that I'm asking for you is material that I sent directly to you, to your department. I sent it to Mr. Bailey, and Mr. Bailey never returned any of my property that I sent to him. Now, the property that I went to Waukegan Police Department to pick up, Mr. LaRue signed it out on February 8th of 2008 and never returned that property to, to the evidence locker. All right, I just got off the phone with, the, with Waukegan Police Department, and I'm trying to get Mr. LaRue to return that property. But the material that I sent to you, to your department, was on Janu was June of 2008. And what property is this? What are you looking for? I'm looking for DVDs. Uh, a white folder, a white binder with material in it with judges, lawyers, and things of that nature. It was a whistleblower that I was doing. All right, hold on. The court ordered my property to be returned January or December of 2009. And I was supposed to get it in January of 2010. That's when my case was finished. Now, after that case was finished, I was locked up in Baltimore City, Baltimore County, for a crime I didn't commit. For putting them toilets in front of the courthouse. That was part of my movie and my documentary. This shows you how the court and the, and the courts, the public defenders and the state's attorney work together to deny us our rights. It's legalized slavery. It's Jim Crow. It ain't nothing changed with Willie Lynch. And everything is documented, like I said. These are the people that are involved in it. Public defenders, state's attorney, judges, lawyers, the police department. And this is the Department of Justice with my case number. Lieutenant Governor Brown has knowledge of it. This is what we was talking about. It's a whistleblower's application. Exposing the prison industry. And that's the Department of Justice in 2009. So it shows you how long we've been doing this. I'm just videotaping this to keep this all on film. That's my lawyer. Just like Thomas Sanders, he tried to sell me out. He made me plead guilty to a crime I didn't commit. And just like Benny Starks, I've been sitting illegally locked up and incarcerated. And now I'm on hold. And they're trying to scramble and figure this one out.